Meanwhile, in board game news, <laughs> that's right, there is some. <laughs> Monopoly is trying to win younger players with a new addition, and this is real, called Monopoly for Millennials, which they market with the snarky tagline, forget real estate, you can't afford it anyway. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's that is common. cold. Yeah, that's cold. It's ice Love. cold. Come on, Monopoly. Games are where people go to escape reality. If we wanted realism in our board games, we have your insurance doesn't cover that operation <laughs> and Clue 2018, where it's obvious who committed the crime, but somehow they're still present in any way. <laughs> in this version, the Monopoly man is taking a selfie while listening to his earbuds, drinking a latte, and wearing cool shades and a participation ribbon. You gotta hand it to them. That is a perfect portrait of an entire generation of old people who have no idea what millennials are like. <laughs> and... Now you're talking. Now you're talking. I got to tell you, I did not anticipate there would be a story after the Paul Revere one, because I'm exhausted now. <laughs> And Millennial Monopoly really doubles down on dissing the youths. Instead of collecting money, players collect experience points by visiting the hottest destinations from your friend's couch to the vegan bistro to a week-long meditation retreat. <laughs> Notice that Millennial Monopoly's list of fun experiences does not include playing Millennial Monopoly. <laughs> but... <laughs> Millennial Monopoly. Millennial Monopoly. <laughs> But I guess this lack of understanding towards younger generations shouldn't come as a surprise, since this is the same company that brought us, and this is real, Fortnite Monopoly. <laughs> it's all the fun of the video game, minus all the fun of the video game. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Timothy Chalamet is here.